Hi, I'm Erica Gammon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find text between other text, and we're going to use the power of grep to do that. So what do I mean between find text between? Well, sometimes text comes in formatted a certain way, and we need to change that. Oftentimes it's because there weren't tools available to format it in a certain way, or it just didn't get done. For instance, you might have something like a title in quotes because italic wasn't available at the time of input, or maybe the style just needs a change. A place I run into this is if I have a series of numbers that I want to style with a character style, but in the original text they weren't styled, but maybe they were offset by parentheses. Now I want to remove those parentheses and style the numbers, and grep is perfect for this. So what we're going to look for in this example is we're going to look for these numbers that are inside parentheses. We're going to then remove those parentheses and style the number in a certain way. We're going to use grep in the find change dialog box since we need to remove some text. And you can't add, delete, or rearrange text when using grep inside of a paragraph style. So first let's create our character style. I'm going to open the character style panel menu. I make sure nothing is selected. I'm going to option or alt click on the create new style button. And let's just call this number style. And in this style, we'll go ahead and change the color. And I'm also going to change the character formatting to be bold. That's it. That's our simple style. We'll say OK. And now we have our number style. I'll close up the character style panel. And now we need to go into the Find Change dialog box. I'm going to hit Command or Control F to open that up. And we also want to make sure that we're in the grep tab. Now we need to create our grep expression. Because I'm deleting some items, I am going to have to offset each of the parts of the expression into separate groups. That way I can remove some groups while leaving other groups intact. The way we offset groups in grep expressions is to put them into a set of parentheses. First let's zoom in on here so we can see the grep field. And for me, I know that we have three groups that we're going to be looking for. The first group will be the open parenthesis, the second group will be the numbers, and the third group will be the closing parenthesis. One of the easiest ways to start this expression is to simply create groups of parentheses. So I'm going to do open and close, open and close, open and close. And then just so I can see things a little bit better, I am going to put some extra spaces in between each of these groups. Now we're going to remove those spaces later. That's just so I can see a little bit better. So in this first group, we're looking for an open parenthesis. And the way we write that in grep is backslash open parenthesis. And the only reason we do that is that, as we can see, parentheses are used for special use. So in this case, I need to tell it, no, I'm actually looking for a literal open parenthesis. So backslash open parenthesis. That's group number one. Keep that in mind. Everything's numbered. Now we'll move into the second group, and this is where we're looking for our digits. Now to tell grep that we're looking for a digit, we use backslash D. That means any digit. So it's a wild card. Now I know that my document contains numbers of different lengths. I don't know how many digits I'm looking for. So I'm going to use the plus symbol, which means one or more time. That means at least one digit long. Let's move into our last group. And in here, we're looking for a closing parenthesis. And for that, we use backslash closing parenthesis. All right, so now we've got our groups. Group one is open parenthesis, group two is one or more digits, and group three is our closing parenthesis. One more thing we have to do, get rid of those extra spaces. All right, so we'll close that up. Make sure we've got no space here at the beginning either. And now we need to tell it what to change to. And in this case, we want to replace what it finds with simply the second group, which is the numbers. If we don't tell it to return groups one and three, that means they disappear. Those parentheses are gone. And to do that, we put dollar sign two. Now that means group number two, dollar sign means something special here. If you can't remember it, over here to the right is the secret menu. We can come down to found and found two, group number two. All right, so now we've told it what to look for, what to replace it with, but we also want to style the text that it finds. So I'll come down to the change format section, click inside, and we created our character style, so we'll choose that from the pull down menu, our number style, and we'll say OK. So if I pull this out of the way and we say find next, it finds that group, that's what we need. So let's just go ahead, be brave, and we'll say change all. It finds five instances of it and replace that with our replacement phrase. And when I say done, I can look and see that all the places where we had numbers in parentheses, it removed those parentheses and it stylized the number with our character style. So that's how we use the power of grep to find text that appears between other text and reformat it in the way that we need. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful. For thousands more InDesign tutorials and articles, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, sign up for free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.